What we practice grows stronger. From an evolutionary perspective, it really makes sense that we feel uncomfortable when we envision positive things coming our way. Our brains are designed to scan for trouble and fixate on what might go wrong in any given situation. This is described as the negativity bias and it is one of our hard-wired survival strategies. Of course, it is a very good strategy for avoiding real danger. But in the absence of a true threat, it limits our capacity for enjoying and celebrating our moments. We have such a short time on the planet Earth when you think of it. When the negativity bias rules, we get very loyal to our anxiety and mistrust and vigilance. We cannot inhabit the fullness of our lives. In happiness research, a common denominator among those who are deemed happy is the sense that they are actually choosing to be happy. They believe that happiness is possible and that there is a willingness to turn toward it. Joy does not simply happen to us. We have to choose joy and then keep choosing it every day. The more and more to become familiar with that principle, we know and how we pay attention to it can actually rewire the structure and the function of our brain. It is said that where attention goes, energy flows. Intentionally turning towards joy cultivates a pathway that uplifts our minds and undoes the negativity bias. It creates a kind of inner atmosphere that allows true happiness to unfold itself. This is important understanding because when we run through our thoughts over and over again, it creates a certain biochemistry in the body that then perpetuates more of the same. Whatever you practice grows stronger. If we practice judgment and anxious worrying, those will grow stronger. Likewise, when we practice gratitude of sending well wishes to others, and those are the pathways that deepen and flourish. One way that we can begin to entertain our minds to gladness is by really noticing and savoring our moments of joy, even if it's only 20 to 30 seconds of immersing ourselves in the feelings evoked by a hug of a dear friend or the laughter, it can strengthen the neutral pathways in our brain. It is radical and transformative to pause and sense the goodness that is right here in this moment. When we experience gladness for simple things, we know we can really be happy no matter what. I hope you enjoy this short reflection how savoring our moments can help decondition the brain's negativity bias and lead us to a greater sense of happiness and well-being. Mm -hmm.